I don't believe we're living with COVID. Um, and I don't think uh, half this country believe we're living with COVID either. And to say that this is the new norm, it's not the new norm and it shouldn't be the new norm. People have had their civil liberties uh, taken away from them over the last two years, been told that they couldn't go outside their five kilometre radius, been told over the age of 70 that you couldn't leave your home. And now I know only too well what it is to lose somebody. My own mother died last January because she caught COVID, but she also had cancer. So I lost my mother last year. So I'm well aware of the sacrifices that this nation has, has taken and the losses and the deaths that we've all suffered. But this is not living with COVID. Face masks for our children. COVID starts to enter into a hospitality industry. COVID starts to go on, on a plane. Antigen tests to get, to get back into your own country or PCR tests to get back into your own country. Um, this is far from living with COVID. Um, so, and with regards to the modelling, Neffet have constantly got it wrong. NIAC have got it wrong. Um, I, my da this date I've put in, uh, in various other sections as well, so I may as well just talk about because the, the 9th of, uh, of February is mentioned in other, other sections uh, uh, within, within the amendments. But it's very clear in this House today that this government has no intention of accepting any amendments here today. So it's really pointless. Um, and the fact that the Minister isn't here, no disrespect to, your, to yourself, Minister, the fact that the Minister isn't here uh, himself today clearly states he didn't even, uh, I suppose, uh, deem our, our amendments worthy uh, to come into the House to address us here this morning. And indeed, by the numbers here, by the, uh, uh, by the, the government parties here in the Shannon today, clearly says what they think of the Irish public and uh, what they are going to, 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 while I understand public health measures have to be taken, but there, there is a, a fine line uh, of what we can call living with COVID. And what we're doing today is certainly not living with COVID. Over the last couple of days, media have been muting that schools are going to close down this Friday. That businesses are going to be closed on Monday. Certain non-essential businesses are going to be closed on Monday. Why has the minister not come out or the Taoiseach not come out straight away and said, no, that's not going to happen. Our children will continue to school until the... Uh, so, so, sorry, it's still in the papers. It's still in the papers. It's still in the papers. It's still being muted. You still have journalists reporting it. So why are, why are they not coming out? That more restrictive measures may be taken in our hospitality sector. They, that, as in more restrictive measures, as in the times will, will be brought back, that they might be open till 10 o'clock instead of 12 o'clock. We need to give the Irish people, people that are in business, the people that have gone through so many much sacrifices over the last two years uh, in, the, in the name of public health, we need to give them hope over the next couple of, hope, couple of weeks. This is the, the prime time with regard to doing business in this country, prime time for local businesses. And the last thing we need is the media or being muted, being putting sign bites out there that more restrictions are coming. That is not what we need, and we need leadership on that. Thank you. Thank you, and thank you, and thank you Senator Kogan, and thank you, Senator Lee, for your contributions there, uh, and Senator Gavin. Um, I suppose, really, what I want to respond to, and it's not scripted, as you can imagine, so I, I have no choice but to answer you uh, as you have presented the, the question. So, like, clearly last night, the Taoiseach was on the news, and he clearly stated that schools won't be closing. And I suppose, really, when we talk about mixed messaging, you could say you and I are creating a conversation around mixed messaging um, today. For the simple reason is, we have clearly known by the Taoiseach, he has said schools are going to continue open. Senator Lee has after saying schools are going to continue open. If journalists wish to speculate, we cannot absolutely prevent them from doing that. That is their sole right. But at the same time, we talk about living with COVID. Living with COVID is to ensure that education continues to process, be it higher education, early year sector, and, and primary and post-primary, to ensure that my daughter and every other daughter around the country that are doing their leave and search, that they can actually sit their Christmas exams. That's awful important for these young people, that they need that stability. That's living alongside uh, COVID. Also living alongside COVID is, in actual fact, not speculating whether restaurants are going to be pulled back to 10 o'clock or whatever sort of time. The time is there at this moment in time for our public houses, it's there for our restaurants. 
Nobody else is speculating other than journalists. It's very, very clear that there is a roadmap there at the moment. We're trying to live as best we can along with a virus that actually doesn't listen to us. It dictates its own pace, and it dictates its own pace based on public behaviour. So if we can go back to our, our, our basic fundamentals all along, keeping your distance, washing your hands, wearing your face mask, doing the basic piece that public health has always said. Um, that is how we can control and manage uh, the virus. And I think it's important as well, living and accepting that we have a virus within our community, testament to the high number of people that do believe COVID exists, because 93% of the population have been vaccinated. Over 1.5 1 million people have got their booster. So they actually accept that COVID is here, COVID is real, and the wish to respond to it. So to, to, to be fair, and, to, to ever, and language is important, and I think the last time I was in this, in this chamber, when we were discussing actually further stages of this bill, we discussed language, uh, and language yet again. So it's very important to say, we're living alongside it. There's a booster campaign at the moment. I'd encourage everybody to get, to get boosted on it. But I do believe 92% of the population believe that COVID is real. And it's not just real in Ireland. It's real, real right across Europe. It's re real right across the world. So it's not us as a government driving a particular agenda. Um, we are responding as best we can and as prudently as we can. And we're trying to keep lives and livelihoods equal and protected at the one time. Thank you.